stepped in instead uh, for Brian Mitchell. Harris the leading score with seven out of 12 free throws on the night. No field goals for Clay City. They'll go to Josh Sink back, or check that, Josh Busher drives inside, no good, and the rebound was by Preston Peterson, who put it back in, and a foul underneath. Let's see if they'll count that basket. The basket will count. Peterson going to the line. The foul was against uh, Clay City's uh, number 23, which is uh, Brad Kinsler. Kinsler getting a little heavy on the foul side here. Free throw is good. Peterson completes the three-point play. 53 to 13, 40-point lead for the Cardinals of North Clay. Josh Phillips, sophomore guard across the line for Clay City, works the left side. Haynes has him, Phillips goes left, gets a shot away, no good. Rebound is to Clay City, shot up and no good by Eubanger. Rebound off to uh, the Cardinals, they'll bring it front court. With it is Haynes at the top of the key. On the dribble, comes around to the right side, looking help for help, back out front to Holcombrink, drives inside, the ball stripped. Foul whistled, that foul to Sean Harris. Should be number two, I think, against Harris as the Cardinals will inbound from under their own basket. Josh Butcher will trigger the ball in. Butcher, 5'10", junior, alternates uh, between the guard and forward position. Back out top of key, Nate Arnold. Shot is up, no good. Tipped around from the back side, a whistle foul. Kinsler, I believe. Brad Kinsler on the foul. And again, the Cardinals will inbound from under their own basket. 53 to 13, 40 point margin here for North Clay. We've got a delay in the action as I think Brad Kinsler fouled out. No horn from the bench, but Kinsler goes to the bench. I think he picked up his fifth foul. And we have the substitution in the ball game, which will be Dustin Cash. Out top, Key Arnold, comes to the right side, Haynes shoots the three, no good. Ball is on the floor and picking it up is Sean Harris. Brings it across the line, works down left side, takes a jump shot. High ball off the iron, no good. Rebound coming off to Haynes, quickly out of the backcourt. Front court on the dribble, inside the paint. From the key, shot no good, rebound underneath. That's Holcombrink going for the shot, and they say jump ball. Holcombrink uh, did a double pump before going up the shot. Nobody had tied the ball. It'll go over to North Clay on the exchange. So the basket will not count. Haynes with the ball, inbound. They go to uh, Preston Peterson. His turnaround jumper good, and it's 53. Check that, 55 to 13. Reichert coming across the line on the dribble. Works it down in the corner. Pass down low to Hastings. Tries to go for the shot, and it's partially blocked and touched last by Josh Butcher. The ball will go back over to Clay City. Checking the ball game for the Cardinals will be Scott Griffin. Seeing action for the first time since the second quarter and setting down will be Andy Haynes, the 5'9 junior guard. Ball comes into Hastings, going for the shot, and it's stripped out of his hands by Arnold. The sophomore touched it last as it went out of bounds and it's given back over to Clay City. Into Reichert, his turnaround jumper, good. They give him a three. Reichert with several shots on the evening finally connected from the three-point area and it's 55 to 16 in favor of the, play, of the uh, North Clay Cardinals. Nate Arnold at the top of the key to Griffey on the right side, fakes his man, comes around Harris, goes for the bucket and he got it. A whistle and a foul. The foul will be against Kevin Hastings and going to the line will be Scott Griffey who drove the bucket, got it the basket will count, so he'll have a chance for a three-point effort here, three-point play. Scott Griffey at the line trying for, for a three after having made the basket and was fouled after the shot. Ball on its way and good, and it's 58-16. to 16. North Clay with the lead. In the backcourt, Clay City will bring it out. Ken Reichert across the line on the dribble, sets up the play. Reichert works to the left side, going back right now, gets a pass back over that was a hard pass to handle, and it was picked up by Clay City after having came all, come off the hands of Dustin Cash. But unfortunately, 
Uh, Ryan Eubinger, who picked the ball up, spun back around the left and stepped on the line. So Clay City, well, I'll take that back. Apparently the Cardinals must have had a hand on the ball. And it will go back to Clay City. Passes inbounds intended for Harris. Knocked out of bounds. Touched last by Nate Arnold. And it'll go back over to the car or go over to the uh, Clay City Wolves. Cash looking to bring the ball in. Gets it inside to Reichert. His turnaround jumper is up and good. Ken Riker not afraid to shoot that ball, and Clay City, who only had 27 shots in the first half, has been putting some balls in the air, and they picked up some points here. It's 58-18 for the Wolves. A foul will be whistled in the front court of North Clay against Ryan Eubinger. 5'9", senior. North Clay will get the ball out of bounds with a minute 14 on the clock. Matt Henson in the ball game and setting down will be Eubinger. Henson, a 5'10 senior. North Clay inbounds to Josh Butcher. Butcher comes in the corner to Scott Griffey. Griffey bringing the ball outside. Will feed left Nate Arnold. Fakes the shot. Instead goes inside the pass to Tony Hofenbrink. Shot is up. No good. Ball tipped out. And in midair taken by Arnold. Back down low to Griffey. Jump shot right side. No good. Ball tipped around. Taken this time by Dustin Cash of Clay City. Deshaun Harris. Harris across the line on the right side. Spins away from his man. Going to the corner. Almost lost it. Saved it. Got it back out to Cash. They'll work it on the hook pass. Down in to Kevin Hastings. Shot is up. No good. Rebound loose on the floor. Stolen away by Clay City. Underneath the Riker. Fakes a shot. Does not go with it. Uh, falls the floor, ball out of bounds, touch last, they said, by North Clay. Clay City will control under their own basket with 34 seconds left here in the third quarter of play. Inside the pass to Hastings, bounce pass, back out to Cash, shot is up, no good, whistle. Foul underneath the basket, it will go against North Clay, Nate Arnold. Nate Arnold on the call for the foul. And going to the line will be Dustin Cash, I believe, for the first time this evening. 58-18. Chance here for the Wolves to break the 20-point mark. But Cash missed everything on his shot. He'll have another, however. Substitution in will be George Widener, freshman at 5'10", setting down Kevin Hastings. Widener. Puts a shot in the air. In and out, no good. Rebound, flipped around, and the Cardinals come up with it. Oh, a steal by Reichert in the backcourt. Bounce pass back out. No good on the shot attempt that time. By Clay City's George Widener, and the loose ball on the floor will give Clay City the opportunity to go back the line as Ken Reichert was fouled in the scramble for the ball. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Ken Riker, a freshman at 5'7", at the line. Freshman and sophomores getting a lot of chance to play here in this lopsided game with Clay City trailing 58-18. Shot by Riker is no good. And there's another shot coming. Third quarter of play from North Clay. Free throw good, and it's 58-19. In the backcourt, Nate Arnold with the ball. Picked up by Reichert at the line. Arnold across, comes around to the right side. Staying with him is Reichert. Brings the pass back out to Holcombrink. Hands off underneath the, to uh, Preston Peterson. And Peterson had a foot on the line. It'll be a turnover for the Cardinals, and it'll give the ball back to Clay City. Reichert will bring it out of the backcourt. Fires one. That is Harris firing one as the horn sounds to end our third quarter of play. Sean Harris no good on his shot. We'll end our first three quarters of play in favor of the North Clay Cardinals. 58 to 19. We'll be back with our final eight minutes of play right after this. There they are again. Stanfield Construction Company of Louisville and Flora. Hard at it working on water lines for the village of Louisville. Stanfield is known for the quality work they do, but don't be confused by what you see. They work on a lot more than water lines. Stanfield Construction specializes in backhoe service, sewage contractor work, and they are also licensed roofers, do tank removal, and concrete work. For more information, talk to Richard or Jeff Stanfield. Just call 665-4333. Stanfield Construction Company in Louisville and Flora. 
your Ford dealer in southeastern Fayette County, Engel Brothers Ford and Farina, invites you to see the best made cars and trucks in America. At Ford, quality is job one, but don't take our word for it, see for yourself. And did you know that Ford offers the best selling line of pickups for 16 consecutive years? They aim to make it 17 soon. You'll find top quality Ford products, including the best selling pickups at Engel Brothers Ford. They're located off I-57 across from South Central High School in Farina. Learn why Ford is doing so well, and soon you'll be driving a Ford, too. Game, Matt Henson. He just inbounds the pass into Reichert. Reichert at the top key will work the ball down low and to his left. And almost stolen away by the Cardinals, but it's going to be saved by Henson. A lot of pressure that time against Ken Reichert as he attempts to pass to Sean Harris. Fakes the three-pointer, but he doesn't take it. Back out to Henson. They work the ball down around to the left side. Shot is up and no good by Dustin Cash. The rebound coming off in the hands of the North Clay Cardinals. Cardinals will bring it out of backcourt. Oh, a steal by Reichert, but bringing it right back was Nate Arnold. And Reichert comes back to steal it again. Down to Henson. The feet goes on the right side. And a big travel that time. Big travel that time by George Widener who had an NBA drive to the basket. He had about three or four steps on that drive to the basket. You get by with it in an NBA, but not in the Midland Trail. 58-19, 7-17 left in our fourth quarter clock. Timeout to the Clay City Wolves. We'll be back more of our Midland Trail basketball broadcast from North Clay right after this. Look around and you'll see changes. A great with the ball gets it over to Arnold and diving for it was Matt Henson and the ball is lost out of bounds it was touched last by Clay City so the Cardinals will trigger in at the timeline this side of the timeline of the front court and this is back to Hokenbrink who loses it a big scramble on the floor now Open Brink gets the pass away. Clay City very aggressive on defense. Ball comes back out to Nate Arnold. Arnold comes around on the dribble. Comes down low inside to Open Brink. Going for the shot, and he is pushed underneath. Dustin Cash will pick up the foul. And Open Brink will go at the line to shoot. 58-19 is our score. It's been Clay City all the way. Brandon Ritter comes into the ball game. Also in the ball game now for Clay City will be uh, Josh Phillips. Open break at the line, puts his shot up, and no good off the backboard. He'll have another one ball on its way and off the glass and good substitution coming in for the Cardinals is Jason Lewis setting down his Holcomb break 647 to go in a ball game with 59 to 19 North Clay up by 40 that's been about the spread throughout most of the last couple of quarters of play the left side of Justin uh, Cash drives down off the glass no good rebound is in the hands uh, Brandon Ritter. Ritter with the rebound clears it out. And Nate Arnold will bring it out of the backcourt. Arnold across the line works to the left side. Guarded closely there by Reichert. Back out to Lewis out front. 
Need some help. Need some help. Finds it on the right side. That's Griffey who came out to help him. He's low in the corner. Trying to come around uh, Sean Harris, and Harris will pick up the foul. Sean Harris picking up the foul. Going to line will be Scott Griffey. Checking back in the ball game will be um, Brian Mitchell, and setting down will be Dustin Cash. One and bonus to Griffey. Ball in the air and off, no good. Rebound to uh, Brandon Ritter. His turnaround jump shot, no good. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Clay City. And getting the ball out of bounds will be the Cardinals from under their own basket. Griffey will trigger the ball. Brings it out to Nate Arnold. Fakes out of the corner, instead passes inside to Griffey in the paint. The turnaround jumper spins out, no good. Rebound comes off to Clay City, and with the ball is George Widener. Gives out to Reichert. Reichert across the line, bounce pass on the right side to Harris. Fakes Ritter, drives downside. Ritter will pick up the foul. Stayed with the fake, but he reached in, picked up the foul. So Ritter picking up his first foul of the ball game, and it'll be Clay City's ball under their own basket. Substitution coming in for Clay City will be Derek Hippert, sophomore at 5'8". Ball comes out to Riker. Fires one from downtown. No good. Scramble for the ball. Griffey had it. Came down over the back. A foul will be whistled. That foul was go against Clay City, and the foul is called against Brian Mitchell. Clay City in the... Uh, now has the Cardinals in the bonus. Go down court with one and one to Scott Griffey. 544 left in our ball game. Griffey's shot is up and good. And it's 59 to 19. Check that. Six. 70 to 19. We must have had a light burnout on that thing. Second shot is up and good by Griffey. 71. I've been calling that 59. Apparently had a light burn out on the scoreboard. It's 71 to 19 now. Shot. Air ball pulled out by the Cardinals. Coming out with the ball that time. It was the Cardinals and, uh, and the ball was lost down in the corner. I'm not quite sure what happened. Everybody jumped up in front of me. And a couple people collide down there. And a foul is going to be whistled against Clay City. That foul will be whistled against Brian Mitchell. So we'll come back down court. And it apparently was a technical foul. Mitchell will come out of the ball game. And checking back in is Dustin Cash. So apparently a technical foul. And I was not able to see exactly what happened because everybody jumped up in front of me and the play was in the left corner of the gym. Free throw was missed. By Griffey. This one on its way and good. So it's 71-19. Griffey one out of two on the technical and it'll go over to North Clay. Inbounding the ball for the Cardinals will be Willison. Willison gets the ball into Lewis. He'll bring it down court. Trying to get the pass in the corner, but gets it right into the hands of the Clay City. Sean Harris, who immediately throws it back away, and the Cardinals have it back again. Nate Arnold with the ball across the line. Pass comes to Lewis on the left side, looking for some help. Fakes as he tries to go at the left side, a whistle foul coming off from Derek Eifert. the line will be Lewis. He's there for the first time this evening. Jason Lewis will shoot the one in bonus. 72 to 19. 909 on our clock. Shot is up and good. Another free throw for Lewis who was good on the top end. That's been good also. He's two out of two from the line. 74 to 19. Bounce pass into 
Clay City's Ken Reichert. Shot up, no good. Rebound off. Well, taken by Clay City, but stripped away by Sean Harris, who goes for the shot and draws the foul. Harris is a very active ball player. I guess that'd uh, be a good word to put it. He seems to be where all the action is. He's been at the line a number of times here this evening. He's had some problems with his field goal shooting, but uh, then so has all of Clay City. However, Sean Harris has put some points up in the free throw stripe. He has a one and bonus here, the first of which rolls good. And it's 74 to 20. Next free throw on its way and good. And it's 74 to 21. North Clay with a big lead. Lewis with the ball front court for the Cardinals. Left side down low in the corner. Brand Ritter. Pass goes inside to Griffey on the right side. Coming down with the rebound was Lucas Willison, and he missed on the return shot. The foul was whistled underneath. The foul going against Clay City. And the foul was called against Eubanger. Checked out. It was called against uh, number 14. Number 14 is Derek Gifford. Two shots to Willison, the first of which is in and out. No good. He'll have another. Wilson one of the few not to have scored here tonight for the Cardinals. Second free throw is up and good. 75 to 21. North play with a big lead. Harris with the ball across the line in the front court for Clay City at the top of the key. Fakes the shot and quickly coming in and tying him up was Nate Arnold. The ball will go back over to North play on the exchange of possessions. So Harris attempted the fake and he was tied up by Arnold. North Clay getting the ball back. Ball comes in to Arnold. Full court man to man. Slapped away by Reichert. Arnold gets away from Reichert across the line now with the pass. That pass to Griffey down inside to Wilson in the paint. The turnaround jumper off the iron. Foul will be whistled against Clay City. Let's see who gets it. Going against uh, George Widener. At the line again, Willison, who just missed on his free throw attempts a short moment ago. Setting down will be Reichert. And into the ball game is uh, Bruce Pittman. Free throw is missed by Lucas Willison. Wilson's second free throw on its way. This one good. And it's 76 to 21. 55 point lead for the Cardinals. Harris across the line, right side with the dribble, comes back left. Pass comes to Pittman down in a corner. Pass down low to Ifford. Ifford's shot was no good. Another shot is up and no good. This time the rebound will be tied up by Willison and Sean Harris, but a foul was called down there. That foul will go against number 11 for Clay City, that being Bruce Pittman, and it will put the line Lucas Willison again. Willison, one out of six, I believe, from the line. Just on four or five in a row and then hit on one. He has the one and bonus here. Ball in the air and out, no good. Tipped out, but a foul. Foul underneath, I think, Scott Griffey. Scott Griffey called for the foul on the rebound attempt. We'll go down court. And to the line for Clay City will be Derek Gifford, the 5'8 sophomore. An opportunity to get here on the scoreboard. Shot up and no good. Rebound taken off by Lewis. Feet goes over to Arnold. Arnold working down across the line on the right side. Across with a dribble. The ball is slapped away from him. He gets the ball back. Bounce pass to Ritter. He's called for travel. Travel call was against Nate Arnold prior to the pass to Ritter. North Clay turnover. Clay City will get it back with 3.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Cash inbounds the ball. Pass comes into Pittman. Pittman works it back to the left side. 
to Harris. Over to Cash. Shoots one. No good. Rebound taken off by the Cardinals. And with the rebound was Lucas Willison. Lewis with a pass into Ritter. Ritter puts a shot up. In and out. No good. Scramble for the ball underneath was North plays Scott Griffey on the rebound and, and a return basket by him. 78 to 21. Front court. Bay City with the ball. Shot is up and good. That shot was up and good by Sean Harris. Griffey and Harris. Griffey making the basket for North Play and Harris on the other end for the Bay City. Ritter gets the ball as he goes up for the shot. He is fouled. So Brandon Ritter going to the line has a chance for a point here this evening. Brandon Ritter shooting the one in bonus. Brandon's a four-year basketball player. He's never been a starter, but he's at practice all the time. Everybody rooting for him here for a point. Free throw up and good. Brandon Ritter scores on the top end of the one in bonus, getting the varsity point. Ritter puts the ball in the air. This one no good. He's one out of two from the line. The rebound going to Griffey. Griffey puts one up off the iron. No good. Ball tipped in the air, still in the air, and Griffey comes out with the ball for the Cardinals. A lot of defensive pressure there, and no whistle, but the ball goes back to Lewis. Lewis drives the lane, tries to bounce pass out to the right side. Ball slapped out of bounds. Giving it over to Clay City. 2.50 left in the ball game, 79 to 23. Clay City across the line, Dustin Cash down on the baseline, fires, no good. Rebound comes off to Griffey, out of the backcourt, across the line in the front court, gets the pass over to Lewis. Lewis works it back to Griffey. Griffey comes inside to Willison, the turnaround jumper bounces up, no good. Rebound taken off by Clay City. Dustin Cash has the ball, feet comes back out to the Wolves. Bruce Pittman across the line on the dribble. To Cash to Pittman at the top of the key. He fires, he gets a three. Bruce Pittman with a three, and it's 79 to 26. North Clay with the big lead. They also have the basketball. They'll come into Ritter. The pass was too high. He gets the ball up off the floor. Bounce pass down low to Wilson. Gets the bucket. Give an assist in there to Brandon Ritter and give the bucket to Wilson, and it's 91 to 26. Bay City in the front court. Pass to Harris. Drives inside the paint. Fires one off the iron. No good. Rebound to Brandon Ritter. And he is fouled. The foul going against Clay City. That foul was whistled there against Derek Gifford. Will come down court. Brandon Ritter will go to the line to shoot the one in bonus. He's one out of two from there tonight. 142 left in the ball game. Substitutions in. Checking in will be Jason Banker for one and also uh, Kurt Ippert. Shot by Ritter is good. Ritter now two out of three from the line. He'll have another attempt. Shot is up and no good. Fight for the ball coming off in the hands of uh, Scott Griffey who comes inside for the bucket. Ball was scrambled around and Griffey picked it up all off the floor, got the bucket. It's 94-26. Three-point attempt up no good by Ifford. They're checked it by Pittman, but picking the ball up was um, Jason Banker who put it back in. 94-28, a minute 19. Ritter with the ball, gives off to Griffey drives inside, no good. Ball tipped around. Ritter has it. Scoop pass back out to Lewis. He'll fire a three. Got it. And a three for Lewis. Give Ritter an assist on that one. 97 to 28, a minute one on the clock. Play City's three-point attempt in the air. No good by Sean Harris. Rebound taken off by Willison, and he lost his glasses. Calls for an official timeout. Now we got the glasses back on. We're ready to go. 53 seconds left. It's 97-28. Brandon Ritter has to drink the water as he comes out of the ball game. Clay City with the ball. Shot is up. No good. Rebound taken off by Lewis. Now to Arnold. 
Down to Ritter, to the glass. Missed the shot underneath, the ball is loose on the floor. Everybody going for it, Clay City controls, and Brandon Ritter with a foul. Seven to 28. Clay City will come down court to shoot the one in bonus. 36 seconds left in this ball game. North Clay will come up with their third victory on the season. Clay City will drop to 0 and 2. Ball no good on the shot. Ball loose on the floor. Everybody going for it. Looks like it'll go back over to Clay City as. It was Nate Arnold who dove for the ball and traveled. They said he will inbound the ball. They'll bring it out to Pittman. Pittman on the dribble. Back down the corner to Banker. He'll fire from downtown and a three. Banker picking up a three and it's 97 to 31. In favor of North Clay and Nate Arnold in the front court on the dribble. To Preston Ritter. Shot is up. Got it! Ritter banks one off the glass and he's got his field goal for tonight. 99 to 31, shot is up, no good by the Cardinals with eight seconds left. Willison is fouled, and that foul will give North Clay an opportunity to break the 100 mark. There's five seconds left on the clock when the foul was committed there by Kurt Iffert. We'll come down court where Willison will have a one in bonus. And with the score 99-31, the opportunity to put the Cardinals in the century mark. Or at the century mark. Shot is up and no good. Rebound coming down to Lewis. His turnaround jumper is up. No good. Bay City with the rebound. This ball game is over. It is a 99-31 final here. The North Clay Cardinals over the Clay City Wolves. We'll be back with a wrap-up right after this.